so that's positioned quite nicely um, so what we're going to do then is we're going to add in our uh, middle stitch, our divider which is pretty simple open up my layers palette and above that create a new layer I'm going to use the uh, rectangle marquee tool now so select that uh, change the foreground to black just put D or X on your keyboard and then we're going to drag out selection right across the page uh, about six pixels high roughly about six pixels high so nice and small there you go that'll do then we'll fill out with black make sure the pattern uh, is set to foreground up here the paint bucket tool set to foreground and then click in there control D to deselect and what this is going to do once we add a little bit more style to it we're going to give it a blur and then turn down the opacity and it's going to create this fold effect or hopefully anyway as you can see here it looks like it's sort of overlapping slightly so we're going to give this a um, filter so go up to filter down to blur Gaussian blur and we'll, we'll do about 1.5 okay that then we just bring down the opacity to roughly about 40% yeah 40% then we're going to give it some stitches so with that layer still selected there we're going to choose the horizontal type tool we're going to change the font to bazaar we're going to turn down the font size to 10 pixels we're going to change the foreground to white and then we are going to open up our tracking so open up the characters palette and we're going to turn the tracking right up to 660 so just click and drag it up to 660 and then um, click there and use your minus key as usual we're just going to um, print some stitches right across the front so we get to the end excellent then we're just going to give this a drop shadow so open up our layer styles on that give it a drop shadow turn the blend mode to overlay and then we are going to make sure it's black and then percentage will be 20% opacity leave it at 90 uh, degrees angle and we're going to go 100 zero, zero. that's pretty straightforward to position that down a bit and then we're going to use our uh, move tool, hold down the alt key and the shift key, just going to click and drag that down into there. Now as you can see we might need to turn down the fill, the stitching. So in our layers palette just select them both and just turn down the fill, turn it down to 45% and then we might need to just make sure that you know we're sort of organizing our layers palette on the pull this one underneath that one so I know that one's the bottom and then just going to use my arrow tools just to shift that up slightly and then this one down slightly and that's good enough for me so I'm going to change the uh, last name to this just call it shadow and then group them together and just call it um, just call it divider I suppose then I'm going to copy that drag it into the new layer icon and large palette and then hold down my shift key I'm just going to click and drag that down and position it can come down a little bit more so I can get that sh drop shadow or that sh middle shadow showing and that's pretty good for me go and buy my design it looks like I've probably got the height quite quite well there spot on so we're going to carry on and do our um, in a content so the first thing we're going to do is to add in our about us uh, with this top section here let's quickly rename this as uh, we'll call it green fiber background for now and then let's choose the bizarre font again make sure the foreground set to white change it up here look and the options bar and we're going to 
drag that right up to 90 the pixel 90 pixels and then we are going to type out bring back my lag uh, bring back my guys I'm going to type out around about here holding down the shift uh, with the caps lock down about us I hit the space bar then I think I did about us and the move tool just going to position that down there and I open up my character palette I'm going to change the track in to minus 10 just to pull that in slightly and I'm happy with that that needs to adjust anything else excellent then just need to add in our add the services we offer underneath that the tagline so we're going to use the bazaar font again and just going to use the same um, font size for now that would be um, well us and the services we offer that is and the services we offer I do apologize just get rid of that and the services we offer and then on open up the characters palette and just turn down the, the font size to 20 pixels and position that about there excellent then just need to give them them to a drop shadow and then open that let's open up the about first about us first just give it a drop shadow just turn down the opacity make sure that's set to angle set to 120 we'll do 506 and we'll turn it up to about 45% uh, yeah 45% of the opacity click OK and just drag up our FX icon into the next layer so just hold down the Alt key and just click and drag that up into there and that gives that the same styles as well so next up will be the little stars one two three four five again same star that we used before use the custom shape tool make sure the foreground set to white stars already selected and then above that we're going to create a new layer and then we're just going to click and drag and we're going to use this guide of this column here we'll use the center actually I'll bring up my uh, document so I can see what I'm doing I'm going to use this middle guide line here and it's going to put a star what we're going to do we're going to use um, the whole height of about us here so we might want to drag out a new guide above that and one underneath it I think we'll go right down to the bottom there don't we and then we'll add five stars going down there so with that star layer selected here holding down the alt key and the shift key at the same time with the move tool selected it's going to do five three four five and then select them all the layers palette and then we're going to use our distribute horizontal vertical centers sorry distribute vertical centers just to align those up bring that down to normal size so next up then is to add in our dummy text for our about us so with the horizontal tool, type tool selected we're going to change the uh, font to Arial um, we'll probably go at 15 pixels um, yeah 15 pixels of size and then foreground set to white so click in there and just copy and paste in our law Ipsum Uh, looks good actually position properly and then just so my last palette don't get too messy it's going to group these together all of these little stars and it's going to call the group stars caps okay right okay then and then next up we'll do quickly add this little learn more 
quickly add this little learn more button that's uh, pretty straightforward uh, create a new layer use the um, rounded rectangle tool we're going to change the foreground to the same color Ooh, go up to the top here as our logo so just choose that darker color there look make sure that only web safe colors is unchecked um, select that color there the eye dropper tool scroll down then we're going to click and drag out uh, roughly the same button same side button we need Then with the rectangle marquee tool selected, with that layer still selected, I'm just going to trim off the edge, delete that. So what we're going to do, we're going to add in a little arrow. So if we increase the size of our document so we can see what we're doing. And I'm just going to drag out some guides. Uh, quickly do this. There's one there. And actually we use that one that's already there. So just get loads of guides in the way. And it's drag one down to the center then I'm just going to drag another one from the side there to about there so we're going to use this little rectangle end here as our arrow so with the pen tool selected with that foreground set the same color as that uh, paths selected in the options bar we are going to select let's make this a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing we're going to put a point here, go down to about here, then down to here, and the same at the bottom. Pick it up, connect it, right click inside, make a selection. Okay, there, don't want to feather that, and then use the paint bucket tool. We'll put it on a different layer at the moment, so that way we can adjust it. So, create a new layer and just paste in there the paint bucket tool hide your guides come away so a good look at this from a distance and I think that's good enough so I'm gonna merge those two together and I might need to just control T and just squeeze that down slightly okay so we're gonna give this some layer styles now so we right click this this layer bring up the layer styles and then we're going to give it a pattern overlay we're going to change the blend mode to soft light and then we're going to um, use the same patterns we use for our menu so choose that then all we're going to do is going to bring the opacity down to 40% and we could go for that so next up will be a inner glow keep blend mode to screen you can turn the opacity down to about 20% and then change the color to white and then size that's fine yep choke 0 size 5 and then we give it a drop shadow turn it down to 35% and be 2 0 3 and yeah about 35% excellent that'll do me and we're going to call this learn more btn and above that then or on top of that we're going to give it the text learn more we're going to change the foreground then to white choose the horizontal type tool we're going to change the font to bizarre we'll probably bring that down to about 12 pixels to start with and inside there we're going to type in learn more as I guess that needs to be a bit bigger so probably bring it up to about 14 oops uh, 14 uh, 15 probably <laughs> go down to 15 that looks good and position that okay and then we need to give it a little arrow there so open up your custom shape tool I'm going to open up a pattern uh, shape picker 
I'm just going to find a little arrow. Uh, I'll use that one, but you can use any of these ones. And then create a new layer above that. And then using uh, or setting the foreground to white, it's going to drag out a little arrow. About the same height as our E. And position it roughly there. And bring that in slightly, I think. And then that's it for the learn more button. You might want to give that a little inner shadow. Let's do that quickly, see what it looks like. In the shadow, 120 angle, go 101. There you go, so that looks pretty good. Excellent. And then obviously group that together as we do. I'm going to give this a name of arrow because that's what it is. And there we go. Group that together. Call this Learn More BTN. And just shift that down slightly. Okay, so we take away that guide. And that guide. And then shift it up. Level with this guide. Make sure that that is level with our text as well. Make sure everything's all nicely aligned. It's very important. There you go. Excellent. 